Today, practically nothing is visible of the original cave system. It was cut out in the early Pleistocene, before the erosion of the Great Matlock Gorge. All of the cave system that was here has now been fully excavated by the miners over the centuries. But heading down here, into the depths below me, is a complex known as the Maze, a huge interlocking series of workings for lead, dating back several hundred years. It's very easy to get lost them as the passages wind their way in the dark catacombs. Leaving the maze, massive boulders must be negotiated in order to gain access to the higher workings. After a series of dangerous climbs, we finally enter the Duke of Cumberland's Royal Cumberland Cavern. Originally opened as a show cave in the 1800s, or possibly even earlier, it wasn't closed until the 1960s, although this section closed somewhat earlier, as floor spar mining belief in the Wapping Mine displaced a lot of the rock, making it dangerous for tourists. I mentioned earlier that the original cave passages have now all but been lost and there's clear evidence of why this is happening here. We can see vertical fracturing taking place. Within these rocks there's clay wayboards and above us are the original bedding planes with which this sedimentary rock was laid down. What happens is that the original places of the early Pleistocene caves, the sides and the roof have collapsed in and gradually the collapse has been rising and rising and rising, crossing bedding planes and getting higher up into the mountain. So as we go along, there is actual vertical migration of the passages higher up towards the top of the mountain. You can also find bands of toadstone, grey and brown ash laid down by ancient volcanoes.